this video we will talk about the SNMP and NetXMS agents, why they are important, what they are for, and just the general basics of both. So the main job of NetXMS is to collect data. Of course then you can graph this data and set thresholds and alerts etc. But still the main and basic job that NetXMS needs to do is to collect those data. The data are actually collected from what is called agents, and the agents are just running processes on the devices which you need to monitor, which simply expose a certain data source. NetXMS can actually collect these data from either the SNMP agent or the NetXMS agent. So a little bit about the SNMP agent. It's simply a standardized way of getting data from a device and it's available pretty much on everything. Uh, you can install it on Linux and on Windows and of course if you have any switches or routers or any other devices those pretty much always have a SNMP agent uh, available already implemented by the device vendor. The SNMP agents are usually pretty easy to configure and I guess the main thing you need to know about SMP is that there are multiple versions. There is version 1, which we won't even talk about because you really shouldn't use that anymore. Then there is version 2, which uh, only provides authentication with a community, so it's just like only a username. And then there is a version 3, which actually requires you to provide the username and password, uh, so it has full authentication and it can provide encryption. Then there is the NetXMS agent, which needs to be installed, and it's available from NetXMS.org slash download. Uh, it's available for many platforms, Windows, Linux, uh, Unix, and, and other platforms. It provides full authentication and encryption, and it's fully integrated with NetXMS. Uh, but don't worry if you use SNMP, for example, you won't be missing any features, because all of the features available within a, with NetXMS are fully implemented and fully working with SNMP. In my networks, for example, I only use the SNMP uh, data sources. So on all of my devices there is an uh, SNMP agent, either from the manufacturer or I installed it on Linux and Windows. So we actually collect all of our data from SNMP because it's a standardized way. And that is just to show you that it really doesn't matter if you choose the SNMP agent as a data source for the data for NetXMS or the NetXMS agent, the functionality is uh, equivalent. So if you remember in the previous video, we already configured our basic SNMP community strings in configuration and network discovery. And if you remember, we actually disabled SNMP for our NetXMS server node, because we don't have an SNMP agent installed on the server node, since it's a Linux machine and I haven't installed it there. As I mentioned before, uh, NetXMS will still be able to collect all of the data it needs, because it does have the NetXMS agent on the node. So just remember that you can use either of those, just as long as you have one of them, you will be able to collect any data you need to collect. You can easily configure what data source NetXMS uses for the data collection. If you go to properties and polling, and we already did this in the last video as well, you can see that for this node the SNMP polling is disabled, but the NetXMS agent polling is enabled. And just to show you a really fast example how to configure SNMP on a device, I have an HP switch here, which I'm going to configure for SNMP data polling, and we will be working with this uh, switch later on in the next video. So I'm going to log in. On this particular switch, SNMP is configured in device, SNMP, and you can see some basic settings here, for example, contact, location, and which SNMP versions the switch will allow me to use. Version 1, it's just really obsolete these days, so I'm going to allow version 2C and version 3 only. And as I mentioned before, um, for version 2, I just need to set up a community, so I will go to community and add a new community. Here I will only specify the community name, so test read for me, and do apply. And that's really it. I can now add the node to NetXMS and it will monitor and manage this node. And that's what we are going to look at in the next video.